welcome. Welcome to the Algoma University Professor Spotlight. I'm so excited to have you here today to talk a little bit more about our geography program at Algoma University. To start off, I'll introduce myself. I'm Taylor Nicey. I'm an enrollment specialist at the Brampton campus. Now I want to pass it over to you and see if you can give introduce yourself and give a little insight into who you are and what led you to the position that you're in now. Thanks, Taylor. It's been really nice to have this opportunity to meet you as well. So I'd just like to introduce myself. My name's Erin uh, Cameron. I am a chair faculty member in the Department of Geography, Geology, and Land Stewardship. Uh, we, we pick up disciplines as time goes on. So we were just geography and geology, and now we've added that on. So that's pretty exciting. And uh, I'm involved in a lot of uh, research activities and teaching activities. So I'm really excited to be able to tell you more. Awesome. Um, so to jump in to talk a little bit more about the program, um, do you have a favorite class that you instruct? Well, actually, I did think about that. And I really, it's very hard. And what I'd like to say is that um, being a small university, I faculty do teach uh, quite a few courses, but that's also exciting because I find that um, some material from one course kind of motivates material for other courses. I always say each course is a new course. So each class we have, we have different students and we aim to be very customized. So students have a chance to work on projects that they're interested in. So I find within each class, there's a lot, there's a great scope that students can really individualize and customize their own education with our guidance. So for me, every, every course is my favorite course. <laughs> A little bit of a cough out there, but yeah, <laughs> uh, I can see that. I, I mean, if you love the subject, then you must love diving into each individual topic within it, right? Well, that's actually what keeps me motivated too. Is that uh, you know that I, I we we do update the courses. We try to make them current, and uh, they're always. It's important for the instructor to be interested in the course because if the instructor is excited about the course, I think students are excited about the course too. So. Oh, for sure, feeding off that energy. Um, well, maybe in this last year then, is there a new course that was brought in into the program that you really did um, love? Um, actually, yes, we're doing, probably took on too many new courses, but uh, we're working on uh, uh, various courses. We did our whole, um, developed our whole land stewardship line of courses. So we took some existing courses and redeveloped them with our partnership with the National Aboriginal Land Managers Association. Cool. Uh, kind of Cross-cultural courses, we have students coming in from communities across Canada. Um, it's a national type of a program. And we also are redeveloping a lot of our courses to be intercultural, so be very welcoming to international students um, to incorporate um, you know, different parts of the world into our courses, different cultures, try to have more understanding. So I would say that was being our latest effort is redeveloping our first year course, our human geography course to be, uh, have that intercultural component. It always had it, but we're just making it even more very cool. And that ties in really well with our um, special mission and our commitment to cross-cultural learning. Um, so for my next question, students love to hear from successful people like yourself of what types of careers can come from this degree. Well, geography is a fairly broad uh, subject, um, which is, uh, so, you know, some people have are kind of trying to figure that out, but it's actually a wonderful place to and I feel that students are really well positioned for managerial and administrative uh, careers, uh, maybe not right after graduation, but um, you know, the experience of the people that I know shows that graduates are very, they, they can see the big picture. They're also, they're used to dealing with all kinds of different forms of information, be it text, uh, numerical, um, graphic, um, so they're really great communicators and also um, like communicating and also being able to grasp information really well and be able to, um, you know, interpret that. So I think they're very flexible. Um, broad education is actually a really a benefit for moving into these more uh, managerial administrative uh, type roles and education, of course, too. Yeah, awesome. Do you have any advice for students who are considering this degree? Yes, well, I, I would definitely uh, recommend that you look to build, take 
any opportunities you have to build um, your 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 other skills like um, marketable skills. Um, build up your experience and your co-curricular record. So these are extra things you can do. So you can uh, obviously build the foundations through your geography um, career, but you can also look out to look for experiential learning, to get involved in internships, uh, look for exchanges. We can even do virtual exchanges now. Um, build up all those uh, communication skills by we, um, I'm quite involved in the People's Garden on campus. So build up your skills and knowing how to even grow things, um, build up all these extra skills and additions. So there's so many opportunities available once you come to Algoma University. So try to look for those like without exhausting yourself <laughs> and to try to build up not only your, you know, your transcript, but also all the extra things that you can offer because employers are looking for those extra skills as well. That'll really set you apart. I love the people's garden. I think that's something really cool <laughs> Algoma does. Um, I was wondering too, if maybe you could mention some examples of internships your students have done in the past. Well, we've had uh, at the People's Garden, we've had uh, a student working on that. We also had a student working at the Great Lakes Forestry Center with remote, uh, remote sensing and GIS. And uh, we're developing a partnership uh, with Clean North. Uh, we are gonna offer, um, we applied for some, um, work integrated learning um, in partnership with the student union, looking at housing, for example. And also um, we are working on this really exciting uh, island project with a um, outside partner um, who, may, uh, who has an island and they're wanting to work with us to develop some field activities. So wow. uh, two students in our program are going to be kind of doing independent uh, courses this summer and uh, they're going to be hopefully kayaking over to the island and uh, doing some exploration. So that's really cool. Any students, are, any prospective students are out there, like there's excitement and adventure involved. Oh, for sure. That's really cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> so moving on to talk a little bit about your experience with Algoma University in general. I want to know um, why you love instructing at Algoma specifically. Is it small class sizes, opportunity, community? I'm sure there's lots of reasons. Yes, uh, there are a lot of reasons. I, I guess the one uh, really probably defining one is the, for me at least, is the special mission. I feel that's like something that's really near and dear to my heart. And, you know, it, it kind of guides a lot of my actions on a personal level at the university, but luckily it like meshes with where the institution's going as well. So developing the cross-cultural learning, I find that really exciting. Uh, the intercultural learning, you know, with the international as well. Um, also just thing, uh, activities happening at the site. Like, as I mentioned, I'm very involved in the uh, People's Garden. Um, I'm also part of a um, research uh, project now that's a funded research project called the Lake Superior Living Labs Network. So we work with researchers at Lakehead University and researchers in the States. And we're working on a project along the watershed in Lake Superior. Um, so it just the place, um, like the, the fact that we're kind of in the center of the Great Lakes, our place, we have a huge responsibility being where we are as it has been for long periods of time at, uh, we call it the Watting. So um, the place, our special mission, that's, you know, and, the, and then all the things that fall from that as well, like our, our small class sizes, like it's all, I think, a great experience. And it's, it's been wonderful. Like it's, it's a huge journey just all the things that have happened. Yeah, seriously, what a great place to study geography living up in the city. <laughs> like the, just the list of opportunities and projects that you have going on um, wouldn't be available if you were in, in more of a rural area or an um, urban area. Yes, and I find um, like the downs, I guess, you know, like there's challenges with the uh, pandemic, but one opportunity is, you know, the, um, it seems like we have more, um, like opportunities like to participate in a lot of things based on what they're being offered, um, you know, virtually, right? So mm -hmm. I feel like it's almost, um, you know, expanded our horizons in a sense, like, you know, uh, obviously not uh, the best thing to happen, but uh, there have been some positives uh, as a result. 
Yeah, that's good to hear. So for my last question, I wanted to ask, how do you bring the thunder, aka what makes this program at Algoma U so special? I know you've mentioned a lot so far, um, but I always like to end on how do you bring the thunder? <laughs> Well, I just, yeah, I just have to come back to the special mission. Um, you know, it's been an evolving effort uh, with our cross-cultural um, bringing that in. Our program, I think I mentioned that we've developed with the National Aboriginal Land Managers Association. So we bring students in from different communities specifically for those courses in partnership. Uh, but also it's, it's like a, it's an opportunity for our degree students at the same time to be learning through the cross-cultural. So I feel that's a, a really unique part of our, our program, um, you know, but there's all, there's different aspects of the program. So that's not the only part, but I, and I would also have to say that our faculty uh, in our program are very supportive and I'm really proud of the work that they do with students and really supporting the students. And I think it's a fantastic environment. And uh, I really feel like every student is, is you know, supported and, and cared for very, you know, cared for well with our faculty. Definitely agree. That was so lovely to hear, lovely <laughs> to speak with you today, learn a little bit more about our geography program. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, I hope to meet you one day in person or, or see you soon in person. That would be great, Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, have a fantastic day. Yeah, you too, bye. Bye.